Ancient Rome spanned time and space like no other civilization before it. Welcome to the Age of the Romans. It started small with a single idea. The small event changed the course of history forever. Time was very important as that makes one civilization very successful and long-lasting. Space was also equally important as time because after the Roman Empire conquered different lands, they expanded their empire to be more successful. When I say grapes, most of you will think that I'm talking about the fruit. But no, grape stands for geography, religion, accomplishments, politics, economics, and society. So let me give you some information so that you won't get confused. Geography is about climate, natural systems, and natural hazards. Religion is what the Roman Empire believed in. Accomplishments just means what ancient Rome achieved as a society. Politics is the laws and the government in ancient Rome. Economics is about trading, for instance, what, who, and how they traded. Finally, society means the citizens' daily routine, lifestyle, and social classes in ancient Rome. I think that for ancient Rome civilization, grapes isn't in the right order. So I rearranged it and ended up with A-G-S-E-R-P. It was very hard for me to choose as I thought that three of the grapes were all equally important. So first comes accomplishments because it was one of the biggest positive events ever in ancient Rome. Later is geography, as that was one of the biggest problems in the Roman Empire, but they created a solution to overcome that problem. After comes society, because every different type of citizen has different jobs in the social classes rank, which makes the Roman Empire so successful. Following is economics, as without trading, the Roman Empire won't be able to receive products that they can't produce. Next is religion, as the Roman Empire truly worshipped the gods as their religion. Lastly comes politics, because even though it is still important, I think that the other grapes are a bit more impactful. So how do the grapes relate to ancient Rome? Well today, I'll be talking about accomplishments and society, because I thought that they were the most impactful grapes. So let's start off with accomplishments. One of the challenges in the Roman Empire was that it was hot, dry, but long. They overcame that challenge by using aqueducts, to allow water to enter farms. In this image, you can see what the aqueducts look like. With more water, there are more crops, which then can be fed for the citizens. That expands the population, and the Roman Empire can demand lots of citizens to become soldiers. Soldiers can help conquer lands to raise the population and earn more products, which are how ancient Rome was so successful. Without the aqueduct, it will affect the Roman Empire as there won't be enough water to survive. Now, I will start talking about social classes ranking. The top was the senators and their families. Below them are the equities. There are those in the army who could afford to own a horse. After came the ordinary Roman citizens. Their population grew very quickly. Lastly, Slaves were very important, as without them, the wealthy people won't be able to be successful and won't be living such a perfect life. The Roman Empire wouldn't have been big and lasted so long if the slaves weren't alive, because Roman citizens might not have skills that the slaves have, such as education and farming. Ancient Rome civilization was very successful and long-lasting over time and space due to many reasons, but to me, Geography, accomplishments, and society made the most difference. All grapes are interconnected with each other, which was basically the key to being successful. The IB Learner profile that I think I used well is a risk taker and reflective. I think that I was being a risk taker during this project because I'm not confident at all about ancient Rome. It made me think very deeply, and even though it was very complicated, I personally think that it was worth it, as I know so much about ancient Rome civilization now. I reflected a lot during this project because I asked feedback from my friends and I didn't just delete the comments that Mr. Sims gave for me, but I improved my knowledge with those comments.